guys. Um, so I'm going to be coloring my September coloring page today. And I thought that it might be good to do um, a little uh, voiceover walkthrough kind of thing. Um, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, I think what I'm going to use for this coloring sheet, I printed it on um, um, some cold press watercolor paper. Uh, I think I'm going to use my Winsor Newton, uh, just my little travel palette. Um, it's obviously very messy and it needs cleaned up, but I'll do that some other time. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I'm going to be using this and then I might, um, of course, use my Poly Promo pencils. Uh, we'll see as I go. I'm, I don't really have it planned out uh, exactly what I want to do, so we'll just um, we'll just wing it. Uh, I think that's the best plan. That's that's really what a coloring page is about, anyway, right? Just relaxing and uh, uh, just expressing what you're feeling on the page. So um, this month's. Uh, as you can see, this month's uh, coloring page is based on some of my favorite shops. Now, obviously, I can't fit all of my favorite shops on here. So, um, what I tried to do was a little bit of a, uh, a favorite shops slash uh, fall uh, theme. So, um, we got some s'mores from Edible Opus. Uh, a candle from Doug's Hour. Um, a little pen, not a phase from grave markings. Uh, a little, um, uh, I think this was a necklace, yeah. This was a necklace um, from Fish and Creek Jewelry. Um, a little uh, uh, crochet from um, Jaso Day Crochet. Uh, a sweater from Bluegra Bluegrass uh, Apothecary. Um, this one's the Icon one, which I really like. I actually have, and I, I think you might have seen me wearing it in a in another video, but um, uh, I have another sweater that I love from them. And I can't remember what it says right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't remember, but I love it. I think I might actually order this one next. I love this one too. Um, a, peca a pecan pie, pecan pie, or how you prefer to say it. A pecan pie from Louisville Cream and um, a cute little bread loaf from Bluegrass Concoctions. So let's get started. Um, I think I may start with um, around number six, I think. Might be my best. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe a Maybe around number four from Princeton. Yeah, let's try the round number four first. Oh, I don't even have my palette. Hang on. with the bread from Bluegrass Concoction. Also, I'm not going by any um, references on this um, because obviously you guys don't have the references that I used. So, I want them, I want to pretend like I don't know what they look like, and I just want to, <clears throat> I just want to paint it every how I feel like painting it, which is what I encourage you guys to do. And, of course, you can print um, this coloring page on anything you want to print it on. 
Um, I'm also going to do these s'mores. Um, and you can use crayons, markers, you know, anything you want. Paint, acrylics, whatever you feel. Um, and I would very much like to see what you guys create. Um, so please share it and tag me and let me see your guys' uh, coloring pages. I would really love that. And I am going to try to keep this um, fall colored as well. And I'm going to go back in with a darker brown. And just kind of place where I want my shadows. And um, this gorgeous bread is going to be going to have a, like a little toasty top to it. Because that is how I like my bread. And if you're not following these shops yet, please go do so. These are absolutely wonderful people. Um, I love all of them dearly. I love what they create. Um, they're just wonderful people. They're all super nice. <clears throat> so do yourself a favor and follow all these people. Um, I do have several Kentucky uh, artists and shops on here. Um, that was not really um, my intention necessarily, but um, let's see, I think Bluegrass Concoctions is from Lexington, Louisville Cream is from Louisville, Kentucky, uh, Fish and Creek Jewelry, and uh, Bluegrass Apothecary, and um, they're all from, oh, and Duck's Hour, it's also from Kentucky. top uh, and a darker brown because my crust isn't going to be quite as dark. Um, as far as my watercolor technique, <clears throat> I like um, I prefer a, a wet on dry technique usually. Um, I also like my watercolors to be a bit more thicker normally. Um, I, I like to have more control over it. Than, um, you watch some watercolor artists and they, they really like it uh, watered down and just let it do its thing and I, that is absolutely fine and I've seen some absolutely gorgeous watercolor artwork done that way but um, that is, I cannot stand not having <laughs> the control over where the paint goes. Um, so yeah. I actually think this sweater is black, um, but I am going to keep it a fall theme, so I think I might, I might do it a, like an orangey brown maybe, or maybe just orange. Oh, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a... I don't want it to be too bright. I 
Also let me know, um, I kind of struggle with how thick the black line should be. Uh, so let me know if you like them thicker like I have them or if you want them thinner. Um, just let me know what works best for you. uploading my sketchbook Sunday to Patreon as we do this. So I'd just like to remind you guys that uh, Patreons get, or patrons get um, early access to all my Facebook Sundays. My Facebook Sunday, Facebook? <laughs> my sketchbook Sundays. Um, Whole week in advance so if you are uh, and I think that's I think that's a five dollar tier and above uh, option so Um, I'm, I've mentioned before, I've, I've never been a sketchbook kind of artist, um, but I've done two sketch, well, they're a little more than sketches. I, I can't just limit myself to a 10 minute sketch. <laughs> it has to be a full blown uh, drawing, but I'm really, really loving it. And um, we're actually going on vacation in a couple weeks. I'm going to take it with me and hopefully do some drawing on the beach. So I'm very excited about that. I think I think I want to make Doug's candle. Orange as well. Um, Chef Farrell uh, recently sent me um, a box that had her August. Absolutely the best s'mores I've ever had, hands down. So you definitely need to check out blow this out if you like marshmallows or s'mores um, because she is incredible. Okay, I'm, I'm 
I'm getting into too much detail, I think, so I'm going to try to pull it back. Um, uh, how do I want to do the Fish and Creek Jewelry pendant? Oh, let's see. Hmm. I think I could get away with a little bit of reddish brown. Um, I know that um, I can't remember uh, what exactly the stone was in this particular piece, but I'm pretty sure it had red in it. Patrons, my patrons. Um, I've been wanting to relaunch my patron for a really long time, um, and of course, there's always the fear that nobody will want to join. <laughs> um, but you guys joined me in the very first month, and I'm so, so, so thankful to you all. And I truly appreciate you. <clears throat> um. All right, so that's it for the coloring page. Um, I would like to say that um, this is printed on a um, eight and a half by eleven piece of paper, and um, that is what I recommend uh, you print it on. Uh, but of course, you know whatever works best for you, you go for it. Um, <clears throat> uh, like I said, this was just a quick little demonstration of what you could do with it. Um, and I would love, love, love to see what you all come up with for your coloring pages. Uh, so be sure to tag me. Um, I'm on Instagram at, um, at Sweet Ash Art. Um, you can print more than one of these. I would love to see um, your friends, your family, your kids. Um, I would love to, I would just love to see what you guys come up with. Um, again, this is for the month of September. Uh, give each one of these beautiful shops a follow. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.